across the river. Over the Rhines reported more pedestrians hit than any other neighborhood in Cincinnati this year. And tonight city leaders will discuss some ways to change it. Our Madeline Audley is live for us on Main Street with how you can take part in this discussion today. Good morning, Madeline. Hey, Adrian, good morning to you too. We are standing here on the sidewalk, obviously, because this road clearly right now is still open to cars, but a local group has got an idea to change that. I want you to take a look at your screen because I want to show you the concept they've been looking at. Uh, they would plan to close this street between Liberty and Central Parkway to some or all cars at certain times of the day. Instead, they envision places to sit, a big screen, games and interactive art. Now, this idea would still allow for the streetcar buses and delivery trucks, uh, but really it is just an idea. They want community feedback. The goal behind all this is to slow drivers down. Dubu Good Foundation data shows a lot of drivers speed through here. The director says slow or no traffic streets have shown in other cities to reduce gun violence and attract business. That's something he says is especially important after last month's mass shooting. Uh, we're hearing from businesses that, um, you know, that the uh, response from the police has um, dropped their business by 40 percent. Obviously, who wants to come down here when there's a bunch of blue flashing lights? So bringing in more activities for families um, to do um, and, um, you know, for people to, you know, have fun and it's um, more of a, a destination for the whole region to come. The Dubu Good Foundation is also working on improving safety around Finley Market. They're planning curb extensions and street murals. Butler says much of those plans have already been approved. Uh, now, both of these projects are going to come up at a special meeting here in OTR tonight. It's taking place at 530 at the OTR Rec Center, and that's where you can go to really share what you think. Share your feedback with both city leaders and this group. If you can't make it out, you can still share your thoughts by filling out this survey that they have been uh, circulating already online. I just shared this over on my Twitter page. For now, reporting live on Main Street, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.